web 3 yes today we are going to talk about web 3 what is web 3 and where do we get started and what are these complicated terms that are associated with web 3 like blockchain or decentralization let's deep dive into this hello everyone i am vishal and welcome to our channel metaverse simplified where we try to simplify a lot of concepts around metaverse if you are new to our channel or new to the concept of metaverse please do check this video out and before we start this video please don't forget to subscribe us because we are making a new video every other day about metaverse web 3 and nft so please do subscribe to our channel today we will cover what is web 3 what are the components of web 3 why it is important and what is the future of web 3 before we go to web 3 let's just understand how the internet has evolved so far from web 1 to web 2 to web 3 first came web 1 the internet that was created to be used more by companies rather than individual the internet which sole purpose was to give information so that you can go on that and consume information for example wikipedia so web 1 was this one dimension of internet where you went to this the entire web and you just got a lot of information from the web so that was what web 1 was then came web 2 with web 2 the popularity of internet became very mass and everyone started using it because a lot of new future came out instead of just consuming information in web 1 in web 2 a user and user can interact with each other you can go and shop you can create content players like facebook google youtube even amazon game and web 2 became very popular because now instead of just consuming information from the internet now you can interact with the internet now we are sitting at a time where the internet is being reimagined imagine that uh, instead of just looking at the internet on a screen you can actually enter the internet and that is what web3 is and a lot of leading player like meta formerly facebook google apple microsoft epic games and all of these players are together reimagining the internet which is leading to the birth of web3 in 2021 facebook renamed itself as meta just to shift its focus from social media to the metaverse which it's believed to be the next iteration or the next generation of social internet or social media facebook strongly believes that instead of just interacting or engaging on social media in this metaverse people are going to spend a lot of time they are going to live there and they are going to be present inside it i spent like an hour just before recording this video playing fortnite while i was talking to my friend who was also in fortnite regarding some trip that we are going to do and that is how i socialize these days on fortnite its parent company epic game has invested 1 billion dollar in its vision of metaverse which it's believe is going to be one of its largest revenue source in the future not only that today fortnite is witnessing close to 30 to 40 million concurrent or live player interacting and engaging with it within their platform in different concerts events social gathering and games the tech giant microsoft is also building its metaverse technology stack which according to microsoft is going to bring physical and digital life together for people it is also building a new corporate tool which will help us to do meetings instead of going to a teams meeting we can do a meeting inside a metaverse so microsoft is also not far behind in this race today 300 million people are already owning cryptocurrencies apart from that talking around blockchain 81 out of 100 top public company have started using blockchain while 65 of them are already developing solutions around them that is just shows how much people enterprises and public companies are confident in the future of web3 in a nutshell web3 is the third generation of internet or web3 is just a fancy name for decentralized internet okay now what is decentralized internet basically decentralized means a system which is not governed or controlled by any authority you want to learn more about decentralization check this video out while web3 is an evolving term we can define it as any emerging trend or initiative that is built on technologies like blockchain and tokenization to build a distributed data layer into the internet we can call that as a web3 in web3 you are the actual owner of your data 
instead of relying on a Google or Facebook or having them take your data and monetize that, you are the sole owner of your data and it opens a lot of new doors to drive new business model or drive new secure way of using the internet. So that is how what the concept of Web3 is. Blockchain is about privacy, scarcity and authenticity while NFTs are about belonging, taste and being a part of a community. Cryptocurrency are a new concentration of ready to use financial capital while Metaverse is more of an immersive, playful and distinctive area where you can go and experience different things and socialize and work. In Web3, data is securely stored and distributed across many devices Hence, there is no need for any centralized server. Such a design also reduces the risk of massive data leak because the data is no longer stored in a centralized server. Hence, the Web3 system is more secure, more safe and more resilient. Metaverse will be a 13 billion economy by 2030 with 5 billion unique users. NFTs will solve instead of just building community and driving utility. They will also solve for use cases around authenticity and ownership and going to industries like real estate, automobile and so on. By the end of 2024, it is expected that corporates will spend more than 20 billion every year in blockchain technologies. While the next generation of Internet Web3 sounds very exciting, there are a lot of components to it. The first two are NFTs and Metaverse and yes, we have made two different introductory video on them. Please do watch them out. Apart from them, there is also DeFi, Decentralized Finance, DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, DApps, Decentralized Apps, P2E, Play to One, and more in this area of Web3. And it is so fastly evolving that we are also trying to catch up and we are also trying to create a lot of content so that we can come back to you and tell you what is happening in this area. Well, that was a very quick uh, summarization of what is Web3. But in case you want a very detailed video, we are also making a longer one or 20 minute video explaining and the deep details of what is Web3. So please do subscribe to our channel so that you get notification of when that video is coming up. And please do like this video, share it among your friends and subscribe so that you can get a lot of content around that. We are also making a lot of video on this topic every week. So please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.